and Sal on something very interesting. Nasty C's latest album had very controversial views. Fans' opinions range from the album being good, very good, to being mid, to say the least. And although fans can't seem to agree on how the album sounds, they seem to agree on the fact that the album was a disappointment when it comes to features, especially from an international perspective. And that is due to Nasty C's own promises, as he had name dropped a few international artists to expect from his album on very different interviews, naming guys like PNB Rock, Black, Jack Boy, amongst many others. I'm doing a lot of collabs um, from guys here at home, but also just like from Africa. Um, there's a dude from Brazil that wants to work, a lot of guys from the States, um, yeah, in Japan. So. Names. Names. Like one, one big name. Yeah. Two. People get too excited too soon. And then two. One, give you one two? big name. Two names. Uh, Black just tapped in again to, today, actually, this morning. So, oh, Black. Yeah, Black, Black tapped in. <laughs> Uh, 24, 24 is already done. I'll give you one more. Uh, PNB Rock. Another big artist was Big Sean, who said he was supposed to finish something with Nasty C about three years ago. And of course, Nasty C's pictures with Zaytoven, including a US tour. But the US tour isn't actually reflected on his album. The hype for Nasty C's next project was just so big because the promises were also very big. But to fans' surprise, when the album dropped, the only international feature was Benny the Butcher, which led to questions of whether or not Nasty C failed to get clearances for those songs, as in all of those features. Because fans really only expected Nasty C to maybe have some difficulties clearing PNB Rock's feature, as he was murdered in California some time back. And it may sometimes be a bit difficult to get clearances for a song if the featured artist passes on as his estate is now the one that is in charge of the clearances. But others questioned the songs that Nasty C had been teasing on his live streams as he had songs that fans deemed to sound a bit better than the ones that actually made the cut on his album. However, Nasty C has already confirmed that he will drop a deluxe version of his album in his live stream. Oh, turn to tomorrow. That shit is hard. The album is definitely going to have a deluxe, man, because right now I'm at a point where it's like, I wanted 16 songs, but we, look, we have so many. And I just added a couple. Well, I don't know, it's definitely going to have a deluxe. I don't want to do the bonus track thing. The question that fans have is if Nasty C is keeping all those features for the deluxe version of his album, and if that is the case, then why? Whereas, of course, there is a possibility that they may not drop with the deluxe album either, but only with the next project or actually never drop. But you guys let us know if you think about this. Comment down below and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up.